Hey guys, it's Lex. You kids get off my boat. Anyway, today what we're going to do is we're going to go through the second half of my Inktober. Um, if you want to see the first half of my Inktober notebook, I'm going to link it in the description below for you. So please go and check that out if you want to see everything. Um, you can also check out my Instagram. I post daily on Instagram and you can see all of my Inktober posts there. Um, I will link that also in the description below. Um, we are going to start on day 16 because that is the day I left off on in the other video. So day 16, the word is wild. And the first thing I could think of was the fact that in every Pokemon game it says a wild such and such has appeared. So I um, decided to do Smurgle because I just like him. And... <laughs> I did one of the newer games backgrounds because I really like the way that they do their backgrounds and the whole games they just look beautiful at this point so um, I painted in his tail because his tail is a paintbrush so uh, that's the only thing on here that's not ink anyway the next day I kind of took it easy on the 17th the word was ornament so I drew a pokeball and I put a little ornament hanger on it. That's that's all I've got for you. I'm sorry. That was that was a disappointing day. I don't know. It even smeared on it part of it. Um, the next day is Misfit, and I decided I wanted to draw Boogie's Boys from the Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is actually original art by Danny Silva. I put it right here, and um, I found it online, and I just saw that he had that he had signed it his name so I didn't actually find like a page of his or anything I just know that he signed this um, this picture when I found it so I um, went by his picture and I kinda did my interpretation of it the next day I kinda took it easy again on the 19th the day the word is sling I drew a slingshot yep so the next day <laughs> The word is tread, and you know there's a flag, I'm not sure what flag it is, but it says don't tread on me, and there's a snake on it, so I decided to draw a snake, and inked them in using micron pens, by the way. Most of these are done with micron pens. There's a couple near the end that I did with, um, with actual pen, dip pen and ink. The next day, the word is treasure. I tried to just draw a treasure chest. Um, it didn't come out exactly the way I'd like it to look, but it was okay, I guess. I drew a little crab that I really think is cute. I like his nose. Can you see his nose? His nose is cute. Anyway, the next day, the word is ghost. I drew my favorite Pokemon ghost, Mimikyu. He is a ghost type and I love him. And I love drawing Mimikyu. I love painting him. I've done several paintings of him. Um, he's one of my favorites for sure. Then we've got on the 23rd, the word is ancient. This is Ammonite. He is um, originally in the games, he's a fossil in the Pokemon games. So that makes him pretty ancient. Um, the next day on the 24th is Dizzy. So I drew him on top, kind of doing a little dance move on his head to make himself dizzy. The next day is Tasty. This is Vanellish, and he's about the tastiest looking Pokemon that I can think of. The next day we have Dark, and I drew Weevil, because Weevil is a dark type Pokemon. And he's just a really cool little character. I, I really like this one. The next day actually is not a Pokemon. The word was coat. And I don't know, I just wanted to draw a puffy coat because I like puffy coats and I think they're fun. And I wanted to have a ghost in a puffy coat. The next day I did with inks and the word is ride. And when you think of, you know, what Pokemon do you ride? Most of the time you're gonna you're gonna think of Lapras. That's what I do anyway. Um, the next one, we're on the 29th now. The word is injured. And I drew Nurse Joy 
with a little injured Pokemon in her hands. It's a little injured Pikachu. He got he got hurt in battle, so she's taking care of him. I really like this one. Um, I didn't do much with the lines, but um, just in general, I really like it. I like how it turned out. On the 30th, the word was catch. So I drew a Pokeball catching a Caterpie. It's from basically the first episode of Pokemon, if you've ever watched the cartoon. It's um, Ash's first catch is a, is a Caterpie. So I decided to do that. And then on our last day, the word, for some reason, I don't know why they use this word for October 31st for Halloween, but the word is ripe. So what I did for ripe is this guy, hold on, I forget his name, Tropius. His name is Tropius and he's half banana tree, half dinosaur kind of. He's got bananas underneath his neck here. So I thought, ripe bananas, that's, that's definitely what I should draw, right? Um, <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed going through my book. Again, if you want to see part one of my Inktober book, the first 15 days, I'll link that in the description below. And um, check my Instagram out for daily art and also for all of these photos, or all photos of all of this art that's in my book. Um, you can go back and look through all of them if you want to and just see the pictures of them. Um, please like and subscribe to my videos. Um, they will get better. The more people that subscribe to this channel, the better these videos are going to get. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Okay, bye.